Whenever I started a new project in Unreal, I did the same things over and over and over again. Add a sky, activate some plugins, add a post process volume to lock the exposure, import different skies, make a few basic materials like blinking lights or mountain shaders, and most importantly, find the same mega scan assets I use in almost every single project. I probably did this over a hundred times and it felt absolutely unnecessary. And that's because it is. It is unnecessary. You can do all of this in just one click. Open Unreal and simply select your very own preset that contains whatever you want. Everything is exactly where you want it to be. So how do you do that? Simply create a new project and set it up as you like. Activate the plugins you need, add all the assets you like and basically do whatever you want. Quick side note, if you want your template to have a little preview image, now is a good time to take a screenshot. Close Unreal and copy the project folder into Unreal's templates folder. Now the location of that folder depends on your operating system. On Windows, you're gonna find it here, on Mac OS here. You'll find the exact location in the description below. Now open the folder of any of the other existing projects. Go to config and look for templatesdev.ini. Copy it and paste it into the config folder of your own template. Open it using your text edit software. Here you can set the category of your template and add a description. I want my template to show up in the games category, so I'll leave it as it is. Just make sure to change the name to the name of your project like this. Save the file and go back to one of the other templates. Copy the media folder and paste it into the folder of your template. Open the images in the software of your choice. In my case, that's Photoshop. Add the screenshot you took earlier or design your own thumbnails. And essentially, that's it. It's right here. So what actually is in my template? Well, it's the stuff that I use on a very regular basis. So basically in almost every single project. Number one, mountains. Whenever I start making an outdoor scene, I need a landscape and some mountains. Now, I personally hate the landscape tools that come with Unreal, so I just use some custom meshes I made in Blender. Number two, materials. Now, of course, these mountains need materials. So I made a custom mountain shader that lets me add grass, rocks and snow in just a few clicks. If you are interested in how I set that up, let me know in the comments below. I also made a material that lets me add dirt and moss on brick and stone textures, which is very useful for castles and temple ruins. On top of that, I have my blinking lights and some different water shaders. Number three, acids and useful stuff. The longer I use Unreal, the more stuff I collect in my template collections. But the basic acids I almost always come back to are birds, trees, different mega scan plants, rocks and cliffs, and fog sheets. Number four, honorable mention. Now, another thing I added to my template is a folder that contains export presets for the movie render queue. It's a pain to set that up every single time. And to be honest, that helped me back several times. So I ended up not rendering something just because I was too lazy to set up my render settings. And now it's just two clicks. I really hope that was as useful to you as it would have been to me over a year ago. For me, it changed my whole workflow. Whenever I have an idea now, I can just start working on it without having to spend 10 to 15 minutes doing the same stuff over and over again. But I believe there is one more thing that you should add to your template and you can learn all about it in the next video.